Hi, I'm Chris Gold with Geeks on Tour. And in this video, I want to introduce you to Google Photos and just show you the basics of why we think it's so special. This won't be any detailed instructions. For that, please go to our website at geeksontour.com and we have tutorial videos there. So first, I'm going to take a picture with my Android Samsung phone. I'm just going to take a selfie. And I'm going to hold up this little sign so that it's very clear when we look at the picture what took the picture. Smile. OK. So now that picture has been sent up to my Google account because I have Google Photos installed on this phone. If I want to see it, I no longer need the phone. So I'm going to show you now on the iPad, assuming all my devices are properly connected to the internet, we should be able to see that photo on, on the iPad now. So now we open Google Photos on the iPad. And there is the picture. I can tap on it to make it bigger. Tap again. There is the picture that we just took, I just took, using my Android phone. All right, what about vice versa? I am now going to take a picture using the iPad. And here, I'll take a picture of, of Jim doing the filming. And once again, I'm going to put a sign there, taken with iPad. <laughs> now, give that a minute, 30 seconds to upload to the web. And let's see if it shows up on Google Photos using the Android phone. So Google Photos is installed here. There's the photo that we took with this device. That would be obvious. So we had to wait a minute, but now on my Android phone in the Google Photos, there is the picture that we just took using the iPad. Now, that's not all the cameras I have, though. I'll bet you might also have a real camera. And I'm going to take a picture with this. And I will just take it of a camera lens. OK. So someday there might be a Wi-Fi enabled camera that automatically uploads this picture. But right now, I have to take the card out. And put it in the, in the computer. And then I have Google Photos Uploader installed on the computer, and it is set to watch for a camera card. So it says backup photos from EOS Digital. I'm going to just do it just this once. And that is now uploading that picture to my Google account in the cloud. Now let's see on the computer. So on the computer, there is no program called Google Photos. You just go to the web and go to photos.google.com. Make sure that you are logged into your account. I see my little face in the corner there, so we should now be seeing all the photos in my Google account. And there are the two. There's the one taken with the phone. There's the one taken with the iPad. And if we wait a minute. So that took a minute. But now we are looking, using the computer on Google Photos, 
or seeing the picture that I took with my Canon camera, the one that I took with the iPad, and the one that I took with the Android phone. But that's not all. Google Photos has all of my 50,000 pictures over the last that I've ever taken because I have used all the techniques available to me to get all my pictures uploaded to my Google account. I can grab the little scroll bar over at the right and you see that I'm going back to October 2014, August 2014. I go all the way back to August 1999 when I first started taking digital photos. But that's still not all. <laughs> because of the way Google Photos works, I can search through all 50,000 pictures. So I want to see any pictures that I've taken of Mount Rushmore. I click on search. And first of all, it instantly gives me views by people, places, and things. And I can click on any of those, and that's pretty awesome. But I'm going to search for Mount Rushmore. And these pictures were not tagged with Mount Rushmore. It brings them up because it knows what Mount Rushmore looks like. And it sees that we were there in June of 2013, August of 2011. OK, so that is what is so special about Google Photos. It gathers your pictures from all your different cameras and puts them in one spot that you can now see with any of your devices. And you can search through them. To learn more, go to geeksontour.com and make sure to sign up for our newsletter. Then you'll see where we're presenting seminars on Google Photos.